Welcome in. Hey guys, I'm the drummer for Fear Factory, Pete. And I'm Milo, I'm the singer for Fear Factory. We've been in tour with Society One, now Twisted came up, and uh, Mushroom Head was in the tour for, for some gigs, and uh, Dope, of course, Static X. Yep, it's been a long tour, about six weeks in or yep. so, uh, 42 shows total, so we're here in Chicago at the legendary House of Blues, and we're here to show you our bandwagon. Over here we have our drum tech, Gavin. Hello, guys. Uh, over here we got Paul McGuire. Hi there. From Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> And then the rest of the guys are probably eating food or relaxing. Yep. So. so here we got our entertainment area. Uh, we got some DVDs, some classic DVDs from Walmart as a crow. Let's see if we got E.T., absolute classic. Yep. Uh, let's see, what else? The Halloween collection. And I know we have Jaws somewhere up there as well as some Rob Zombie movies in here. And uh, so we usually throw on a movie or two at the end of the night, just relax and have a cerveza or two and eat some food and, you know, have a good conversation at the end of the night about what happened that day. <laughs> In here we kind of got a little bit of everybody's stuff. Gavin here loves his twisted tees. Yeah, man, those are mine. <laughs> also his monsters, I've been dabbling in those because, you know, it's getting towards the end of tour and I'm getting a little tired. Uh, we have our margarita mix with me and Gavin have been getting into. Yep. So I'm a bartender when we don't tour, so I've been trying to help these guys out with my skills. Uh, we got some extra beers down here. We have, Dino is a big spice person, so he's got his own Serrano peppers uh, that he brings with him. He's a savage like that. And then, my uh, broccolis. Yeah, we got some broccoli, some veggies to keep nice, and uh, some coffee, and you know, that's about it in there. Uh, up here we got some cereal. I'm a big cereal guy. So we got milk and Fruit Loops and Cheerios. This is where we keep kind of our snacks and teas and stuff. Milo's a vocalist, so he's got a lot of throat stuff and um, lifesaver. Like <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, we just got our snacks, kind of things we can just munch on. Uh, got another full cabinet up here of kind of just the same stuff. More margarita mix because you know you never have enough margaritas. <laughs> so much margarita. This is the cup that I that I bought Dino because I I thought it would fit him. <laughs> you know the style. It was like yeah, fuck that is my cup. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and that's about it for that. Pete is a huge uh, sweet eater and muncher, so it's all about gummy bears and stuff like that. I may or, not, may, or may not have diabetes in the moment. <laughs> drink a lot of water, that's it. <laughs> Can't forget the cigar smokers. We definitely don't use these for anything else but just smoking tobacco. So. <laughs> Uh, so some of the stuff we can't always fit in the trailer and you know in the bays and stuff So sometimes we have to keep a little gear. This is our actually an extra Midas or Behringer X32 rack That we borrowed from Tony Campos who is the bass player to start the tour But we ended up going to Sweetwater headquarters in Fort Wayne, which is really awesome and um, Got our own one of those so it's staying here for now. It'll get somewhere eventually <laughs> We have tons of cabinet space on this bus, uh, so everyone's kind of got their own little deal. This is James, our sound guys. Yep. Uh, Milo's is up here. If you want to show them anything yeah, that's sure. in there. It's my laundry, you know, I, all medicine and stuff, and my, my cup, my some extra clothes because we don't have space because Paul joined us, so we have to we had to actually free the bunk because we have all our shit in the bunk, so we we put it outside the in the extra space of the, the bus. So, uh, yep, we, keep, we got tons of waters, enough for everyone on board, some Cokes, snacks. So we keep extra yep. shoes in here because we like to keep the bus a little clean. I'm kind of the maid of this tour. Uh, I just made myself the maid because no one else would do it. But, um, <laughs> there's a window here. Oh, Dino likes to keep jalapenos kind of just floating around when you just snack on them here and there. So you, know, you never know when you're going to pop up with one of those. But, yeah. We got a lot of uh, extra room up here with the couches here. Um, sometimes we'll have guests over if they need to sleep over. You know, you can move this pillow. Oh my God! This is another hell of a Dino. Dino. What are we you know. Doing, we Dino? know he's here always. There's just <laughs> always one popping up. But you know, over here our driver creates a daily sheet for us every day, so we know when to load in, what time we're playing, what time we're leaving, how many miles it's to the next venue. So it's good to know that, so you can kind of plan out your day and uh, you know get to business. 
Yep. Here we have one table on this bus. Usually it's the business table, I would say. Uh, get the, the daily printouts of things, do the money at the end of the night. If that's not going on, it can be an extra seat for whoever wants to hang out because there's not a ton of space and we got a few people on here. But mostly for the business side of things on this table. So we have uh, eight people on this door. The driver has her own bunk in the front. All of ours are back this way. We can show you that and uh, go from there. So this is a junk bunk. We kind of just keep, you know, all extra bags and things like that. Crap we don't need in our bunks uh, getting in your way and things like that. Um, here we have uh, Dino's bunk, of course. <laughs> uh, so what else we got back here? This is Paul's Paul. new bunk. That was also a junk bunk for the longest time. Yeah. Damn you, Paul. Uh, Sorry, this is but Milo's bunk. Uh, up here we have... Gavin's bunk, our James, our sound guy, stays here. Uh, mine's down here, so I got it well lit up down here. Uh, we have a lot of single moms coming up on here sometimes, so you never know what you're gonna get. You gotta have it nicely lit for them. Uh, and that's about it for the bunk area. Over here, we have uh, the toilet. Uh, you can only do number one in there, there's no number twos. Although there's been some number twos, you just gotta, you know, do it the right way. Get bag the entire like, toilet, I haven't had to do that, but some people have, but that's about it for in there. So at night, uh, we have fresh air that comes through these vents up top, and we have these dryer sheets to keep the smell away, because, you know, we're all on tour. We get to shower usually every day, which is nice because we play in nice venues, but it's nice to keep a, a good smell going when you're rolling down the street. And then back here, we have a full shower and sink, which is nice. A lot of tour buses don't yep. have this, so if the venue doesn't have a shower, we are... Is a shower over here? <laughs> and it's very nice and hot water, so that's always a perk to uh, being on the road. Yep. All right, so thanks guys for coming out to see the bus. Uh, you can check out Fear Factory on fearfactory.com. You can also look up Instagram, Facebook uh, under Fear Factory as well. We're constantly putting up new stuff, new stories from tour. Yep. Uh, we have a lot of future tours all around the world coming up, and uh, just keep an eye out, and we'll see you out there when we do.